Today, you are here in Cape Coast yes. with about more than 60 women. Absolutely. All the way from the U.S. to Cape Coast. Yes. And interestingly, uh, we are still projecting Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. That is why we are here today. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that you went to meet the, the paramount chief of mm -hmm. Ogwa Traditional Council, Cape Coast. You had a discussion. Mm -hmm. I love it. What, what triggered this project of you bringing all these women to Cape Coast? Part of my reason of bringing the largest black college educated uh, professional woman organization in the world here, uh, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I give a shout out to my sores also who may be watching the line. Um, I knew that uh, this is the root, this is the base. And until you do come back to where your foundation begins, I really do believe that you really don't know yourself. So it was very important to me to bring this group back here, of, to your point, of 65 women. But our organization um, at large is over three, 300,000 women worldwide. Wow. And I'm a national officer as well within the organization. But the good thing is we have a team, and his focus really uh, offers this six packs for the queen, her elders, of the seniors, all the people who have actually come to join them this morning from the entire delegation. This is the water from the King Office of the Mission. And please, not go by the mission, they could not come to this traditional area without paying tribute to you, Osa Maremba, and the elders of the Nanum of the land, as the custodians of the culture in the land. So they're here to pay the highest respect to you, to also receive your blessings and their mission here, and before they go on that journey to receive your mission and to say that they are here in your territory, pay respect, seek your blessings, and to pay tribute to the custom and the tradition that is demanded here. So I bring your own sons and daughters from afar. Um, they're here on this journey. And I know that Nancy will also share words to further introduce some of those who um, are leading this delegation. The whole delegation is important, as we know, and she will take up that responsibility. But that is our mission here this morning. And that's the key, once again, for having made yourself available and receiving us this morning. Um, this morning, and to receive us, and to welcome us. So we come to present these customary drinks here before you. Uh, as we know, the two bottles of snacks. Um, so just facing around. I wanted to acknowledge my international president that is also proud of God. Because I am among you, I'm also with them. So I'm a proud of Hello to everyone. I am Elsie Capones and I am the international president and chair of the board of directors for Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And I want to thank you. Thank you to Representative from the King. Thank you, Essie. Thank you to all of you who have gathered here to welcome us today. I want to say thank you not only from me but on behalf of our entire delegation um, from uh, Delta Sigma Theta. We have members of our National Executive Committee and Board, who you will meet in just a minute. We also have uh, the president of our local chapter, who is here, who you will just meet in just a minute, because we are proud now to have a chapter of Delta in West Africa, including the country of Ghana. And on behalf, yes. And on behalf of everyone here, the royal warm welcome means so much to us because as Queen Essie said, we go back generations, but we know the ties that we have 
from with all the I am Rosie Allen Herring, the Eastern Regional Director for Delta Sigma Theta Sorority First, I have also been a student last year during the Alpha Festival, and I was. Uh, I am also the Ikoso Hiba, but also the Asafo Hiba from what it is that I've been for. So I'm very committed to the development. This is something new. This is something that is the first, as I am the first uh, African American that has been given such a high ranking within a traditional indigenous Asafo that is then working from the ground level within one of the direct Asafos. Where you will be going from here? When you put the just relax and be calm. Because what you see may cause an emotional eruption. You ask yourself, how can a human being Treat his fellow human being the way we were treated. And we don't want us to speak about it. At the dungeon, where our ancestors were suffocating, there's a night of the report. How do you reconcile the two? Are we being deceived? Don't we have feelings? Did God not create us as well as them? But this is a school we all have to pass through. To conscientize us, to make us stand up to so many negative things that are being held at us. Strictly speaking, we are better than them. What we can do, they cannot do. Who built America? Who? Now they don't want to see you. How can a human being be So there's a way of bringing ourselves to the reality of who we are. But for the resilience of our ancestors, we need to see. And that is still there to go all of us and start thinking about changing for this experience. Changing is for the better. I have my commitment then, as you know, to continue to make sure that we are bridging the gap and to make sure that we are uh, making sure that we're connected back, as you said, so rightfully so, to our African roots. All of human civilization comes from here, Mother Africa. So, this is the pathway for many and all to have to come through. So I hope that this answer does satisfy it. Stay together. If I stay together, where the black or white you for here the rally. If I stay together, if I stay together, through the dean and that day, we for leaning on each other. Yes, Africa and I.
It is reported that we have up to about uh, 5,000 uh, African Americans, Africans from the diaspora. Um, that could be from the USA, the Caribbean, um, mainly in some parts of South America. Uh, the way that they, uh, people are registered here um, does not distinguish uh, African Americans. And so in that respect, I say that and to say that there's over 37,000 Americans in Ghana. And because of the way the immigration records us, they just use the passport without the ethnicity. So in our own calculation, we know that it's thousands. So that answer is all. Yes. I am a proud graduate. My name is Kimberly. I'm a proud graduate of Lincoln University, located in Oxford, Pennsylvania, of which is the alma mater of Kwame Nkrumah, as well as the media Zikwa. I would like you to know that as a graduate, I was an economics major, and my economics professor is from Cape Town. His name is Kwame Dotson. I'm Kwame Dotson as well as I had numerous professors who were from the continent. So I would like for you to know that many come from the continent and have come to the states to teach and uh, impart their education onto individuals such as myself. So thank you. So this is, this is that's what I was alluding to. That if we, let me see, show, show.